Consider the diagram shown on the board. There are two containers, one open and one closed, both containing water. And at the bottom of each container, there's a straw attached to it. In the open container, gravity is going to cause water to flow out of the straw because gravity pulls things downward. But what about the container that's closed? What's going to happen there? In this video, we're going to find out. So here's a demonstration that's going to show what's going to happen. Now let's talk about what happened. Why did the gallon bottle implode on itself? Why was it being crushed? Well first we need to talk about gravity. Just as in the open container, gravity was pulling water out of the container through the straw. And as that happened, the water level inside the container decreased. And so initially you have this air, this vacuum, this low pressure region that has less pressure than the pressure outside of the container. The pressure outside of the container is basically 1 atm, which is the atmospheric pressure at sea level. Pressure is related to force. Pressure is force over area. So because you have a region of high pressure outside the container and a, a region of low pressure inside the container, there is a net inward force that causes the container to implode on itself. And so the atmospheric pressure is crushing a container due to the low pressure inside of it until a state of equilibrium is reached. Now let's watch another demonstration in which you can see the atmospheric pressure crushing the container from a different side. Now here's a question for you. Eventually, the water that's flowing out of the straw comes to a stop when there's still water inside of the container. Why does that happen? Why does it stop before the container is completely empty of water? Well, this has to do with equilibrium. There are two powerful forces in play here. Gravity wants to bring out all the water out of the container. Whereas the pressure differential is preventing that from happening. Whenever you have a low pressure region, it can actually suck up water against gravity. Let me give you an example. So let's say if you have a container that looks like this. And let's say this is the water level. And let's say the pressure outside is higher than the pressure inside. So let's say the pressure on the inside is 0.5 atm. 
the air molecules on the outside will exert a greater force than the air molecules on the inside against the fluid. As a result, the air molecules on the outside will force the fluid to rise inside of the container. So from an observer's perspective, it'll look as if this low pressure region is pulling the fluid when really the high pressure region is pushing the fluid up into that container. And so what's going to happen is the water level is going to rise to a point where the weight of the fluid balances the force created by the pressure differential. So gravity affects the weight of an object. So thus, the force exerted by gravity on the weight of the fluid will balance the force created by the pressure differential, and thus it'll reach a state of equilibrium. And that's what's happening here in the, uh, in the case of the bottle being crushed by the atmospheric pressure. When the fluid stops flowing out of the straw, at that point, a state of equilibrium has been reached. Gravity and the force created by the pressure differential are now virtually equal. But here's a question. What's going to happen if we open the bottle, if we remove the cap? So let's say we have the crushed bottle. But what's going to happen if we take off the cap? Let's see. Now let's talk about two things that happen. The first thing was that the container regained most of its shape as soon as we opened the container. This is due to the fact that the pressure outside of the container has, is now equal to the pressure inside the container above the fluid. And so we don't have a pressure differential anymore. Thus, the only force acting on the water is the force of gravity which is now pulling down the fluid again. As you can see, water is flowing out of the straw at its normal rate, since gravity is the only force acting on it now. So that's it for this video. Now you know how to crush a container using uh, the atmospheric pressure created by the air molecules outside of the container. So thanks for watching.